I need a little bit more time, but uh, I'm going to welcome you, and then we're going to book another song. Okay. We're going to connect you, and I'm going to connect me, and then I'm going to say everything about you, and you're going to say everything about you. Great. You, you're welcome to the Allegro Hebrew Radio, oh, my you. dear friend, Stephen, Gary, last name? Schlossel. Schlosser. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with Stephen Gary. Stephen Gary. Gary. That'll work yes, as well. that's amazing. <laughs> I will let you know everything about this amazing person that I met him like a long, long time ago. And it was like a like a I don't know, a fairy tale story because I met him in a cruise. And it was fantastic though, in a, in a paradise island and um, yeah, it was uh, many people and happens to see him on Facebook and I said, I know this guy. <laughs> and now I'm in LA, so welcome to Thank Electric you. Cube Radio. Yeah, it's great to be let's here. Spend, it's let's, nice to see you let's again. see you. <laughs> With another song okay. to do all the whatever we have to do. All right. Shining from above, a brightly colored halo reflecting all your love. And when your smiling face appears, your rainbow shines on me. It never fails to make me see how lovely life can be. Oh, rainbow, shine your light on me. Let the children laugh and sing. When the happiness you bring Whoa, rainbow Won't you dance for me With the colors that we see Say your silent words to me Now rainbow is a friend of mine The rain has filled the air The storm is at an end And the colors show that he still cares a friend is like a rainbow, let me tell you what I mean. With promises of better days and love so long unseen. Oh, rainbow, shine your light on me. Make the children laugh and sing with the happiness you bring. Oh, rainbow, won't you dance for me? With the colors that we see, say your silent words to me. With the happiness you bring Oh, rainbow Won't you dance for me With the colors that we see Say your side words to me Are we getting some kind of feedback here? <laughs> yes, that's right. Can you listen something of this? I don't know what, maybe it's mine. I thought I was hearing something in the recording that I didn't recognize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I don't think so. Your sound is perfect. This is the... 
Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so what do I do? Just down the button. That's there it goes. It. Okay, all right, uh, now we're good. Hallelujah. Okay, thank goodness. This amazing song, I mean, uh, I love it. Oh, well, thank I, you so All much. of them, but that one, uh, it, it caught me something yeah, here. Like. I, it's a favorite song of mine. I wrote it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, I Every song has a story. And, and that one, uh, in particular, um, my parents had a friend who uh, was a big family. It was mm -hmm. like, you know, parents, five kids. But on the weekends, the mom would go out to children's hospitals and orphanages as a clown. Oh, wow. And she'd go and entertain the kids and bring them some joy. And her clown name was Rainbow. Oh, that's and so that inspired the song. Oh, wow. <laughs> you touched me so much because I work with um, uh, Dr. Clowns, you know. Clowns, doctors, how you call oh, okay. them? Pat Adams group. Yes, yes. Yes, I have. I have. It happens to to meet his group in Greece, and to work with that group, it's a honor that I, I was part of this group and I was painting with the kids. So I I know exactly what you say. Mm -hmm. Wow, you yeah. have that experience in your family. Yeah. So uh, she was. She would go out and do that, and like I said, it inspired me to to write the song, and it's one of my one of my favorites. Actually, it's my. I think it's my producer's favorite song on the album. Mm, I don't blame him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, wonderful. Everything and and you play banjo? No. There is banjo or there's, is it there's guitar? banjo. Well, there's banjo and guitar on there on this on this album. So just to let everybody know that you're you're getting a preview mm -hmm. of my new album entitled "Things Change." Um, there's a few of the tracks that are already released, uh -huh. and and you can find them on iTunes and. Spotify and CD Baby and all that under Stephen Gary. Um, the banjo player on that actually is a, a fellow named Jim Cox. And uh, Jim and I and the producer of the album, Dave Bulger, uh, played in a country band here in L.A. back in 1981. Oh, wow. Back before we were born. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> Yes, there's an odd degree of symmetry in my life these days because I had come down to L.A. back in 1979 seeking fame and fortune. Wow. And as I tell people, I found fame and fortune, but it all belonged to somebody else. <laughs> um, so after a dozen years in L.A., then I went to work on the cruise ship that we met on. Yes. And so now, you know, and then after many years there, I came back to the San Francisco Bay Area where I grew up. And now, some 40 years after I first came to L.A., I'm finally doing all the things that I had planned on doing when I came to L.A. all those years that ago. That is fantastic. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. you, you organize it uh, <coughs> in your head and you have it. Here you are. Yeah. I'm so happy you're here because you don't live in L.A. No, I just happen to be in town. It happened to be in town. I like this. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens. It's my favorite. <laughs> you see? You have people say, love yeah. the rainbow song. Hi, Laura. Laura. That's Laura my cousin somewhere. Who lives in Vegas. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. You see how many people we have already. Awesome. And they watch us and live people, 10 people and more. And uh, we have all these people in the station. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about, uh, we're going to say the names in the middle of the show. Okay. So sure. to cover all of them. Awesome. And thank you, our friends who are here. I didn't uh, say anything about the station. I said um, a few words about him because he's my special guest, Stephen, Gar Stephen Gary. And uh, Stephen Gary and I, as I say a little bit at the beginning, we met in a, um, in a paradise place. And I was, uh, I get used in my country to cut a lot of stones on the beach and stuff on that. <laughs> And he goes, uh, you were your security guardian of the crew? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and he come to me so politely and he say, honey, we don't take these stones home. We leave it the way it is. <laughs> yeah, we were in a little island in the Caribbean called Bonaire. Bonaire. Beautiful Bonaire. And, yes. Um, Antilles. Bo yeah, um, Netherlands Antilles. Yeah. Uh, Aruba is the more famous one, but the other two islands are Bonaire and Curaçao. Curaçao, yeah. And uh, Bonaire was one of the first places in the world to invact uh, enact environmental protection laws. <laughs> so that's why you couldn't take any of the stones. Nothing. Even a coke was a tiny thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 not now. So I, I really, uh, but I remember the way you said it. It was really, really polite. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. And I suddenly I realized 
yes, we have to respect the earth. And this is my name, my, my aim and my uh, message. Nearly in every show, I learned my lesson oh, well. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hot here. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? Good. If I spent fifteen okay. years in the Caribbean, heat doesn't bother me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Perfect. So you 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 bring your guitar and you're gonna sing something nice. I'll sing also. something nice for you. Yeah. This is Rosebud, by the way. I haven't introduced you yet. This is Rosebud. Rosebud means there is a meaning. Of that? Um. Well. Uh, for those of you who are into classic film, yeah. this film called Citizen Kane, and it's about a very powerful and rich man uh, who lived a rather uh, turbulent and not always happy life. And the, the happiest he ever was when he was a little kid, he had a sled, oh, and he used wow. to play in the snow on the sled, and the sled's name is Rosebud. Okay. And so that name always symbolized to me just a point in your life when you're happy. So. I'm happy when I've got my guitar. So this is Rosebud. Amazing. Hi, Rosebud. <laughs> is this bother you? No. No. Okay. I don't know. It probably looks weird, but. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you put it on the front. We'll put maybe. A, put a, no, we can't put it on the front because. Yeah, it's gonna be on the front. We'll put it that way. Yes, now we're, now exactly. We're good. Yeah, you got it. All right. Now this is our first album. I have two albums out. Things change. Um, the other one is called Eclectic Acoustic. That one you can say, find in the same places, and, and I'll play this for you. Thank you. Your smile lights up my day. Every time I see it, I have to say, your smile lights up my day. Your smile makes things all right. In the blackest day, in the darkest night, everything's going to be all right. When you go, well, I'll feel so sad and blue, but then... Well, I know somehow I'll see your smile again. Your smile makes me smile too. And the love you give to everyone, well, it all comes back to you. When you go, well, I'll feel so sad and blue. But then, well, I know somehow I'll see your smile again. Your smile makes me smile too. And the love you give to everyone, well, it all comes back to you. Oh, yeah, it all comes back to you. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's amazing, the words. Amazing. You wrote the, the, the words, too? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And the music? Mm -hmm. So everything is by Stephen. That's Daddy. right. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, okay. Where do you present these songs? There are diamonds where you how people listen to these songs well well that's something i've remained to figure out you know i'm, I'm, I'm real good at, at writing songs and singing them and getting them out to the world well that's another story entirely which is why i'm here <laughs> um like i say the songs are um the the uh that song and all the other songs on eclectic acoustic uh they're on cd baby they're on itunes they're on spotify they're on rhapsody um you know where wherever uh songs are sold these days <laughs> How are you inspired? What is your inspiration? I, I get inspiration from everything. Of course. You know, you uh, have, <laughs> you, there's, there's all sorts of ways, you know, that particular song was inspired by um, a, a young girl that I met at the festival who just had the most adorable smile. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't anything more than that. Mm -hmm. And so, and so that inspired that song. The, the first song, I don't, I don't think anybody heard it, but the first song on the album, uh, which is called That Old Hound Dog of Mine. Uh, and uh, uh, we, can, we, can we can play it again. again of course. So I was, I was performing at a, a, a civic luncheon for mm. the city of Dublin, California, which is up in Northern California, not in Ireland, this Dublin, Northern California. And I was just getting ready to go on stage mm -hmm. when the whole song just, just popped into my head. Of course. And, and now I'm running around trying to find a pen and paper, and these people are trying to get me on stage. And I'm like, wait, just just wait. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can't tell you where the idea came from at all. Wow. It, it just kind of showed up. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, the amazing thing of, of us, of the human being, is that uh, we have an experience of something, and we don't, like, we don't spot it immediately, but mm -hmm. it stays there. 
Mm-hmm. And then the right moment come out and it's like, where did this come from? But we know where this yeah. came from. <laughs> so you want me to put the, uh, the first one that we listen to? Go ahead. Now this one, I will tell you, this one is on, uh, this one is, is up and, and available. It's on CD Baby, it's on iTunes, it's on Amazon, it's on Spotify, and you can find the song under that old hound dog. Okay. So we go. I saw an old hound dog walking down the road. I followed him a piece to see where he would go. He led me to a house across the railroad tracks. Started scratching at the door right where the screen pulled back. She opened up the door to let her dog inside. I stood there slack jawed, feeling like I'd lost my mind. She looked at me a bit, and then I saw her grin. You better shut your mouth before the flies buzz in. She was the sweetest thing that ever crossed my way. God bless that old hound dog that passed me by that day. I said, excuse me, ma'am, but could I trouble you? I'm feeling mighty parched, garden hose would do. She said, my mama's ma'am, Miss James, would you call me? Why don't you come inside for a glass of my sweet tea? She was the sweetest thing that ever crossed my way. God bless that old hound dog who passed me by that day. We talked away the afternoon till the sun's last light. Her mama made us supper. I didn't want to say good night. I stood by that old screen door, my hat clutched in my hand. I said, thank you kindly, and can I see you again? She said, come round anytime, reached up and kissed my cheek. I don't think my feet touched the ground for that whole solid week. I courted her all summer, we married in the fall. Raised up our four children, I've loved her through it all. She's still the sweetest thing that ever crossed my way. God bless that old hound dog that passed me by that day. Amazing, amazing, Stephen Gary. When I met you, I didn't know that you write music. When mm-hmm. I met you, I have no idea that you uh, write songs. You play. I mean, I, I think one of the nights you play something, mm-hmm. but I didn't know that you make your own songs or uh, you write the words and you put music on it, which I always, always admire. I can do that with the colors on the painting, but not with the music. And I really feel like um, I read something before you come and I was, I was thinking about our show. And I read something that I like to tell you and okay. you tell me how you feel. Say a, a painter paint pictures on canvas, but musician paint their picture on silence. And I like that so much. Like uh, you, you paint your picture with the, with, the, with the notes and the sound on the silence you draw a painting on the sideline with, with the notes, and it's an amazing uh, um, this description of... Uh, <laughs> it's a marvelous analogy. That's wonderful. <laughs> you feel like that? Yeah, oh, yeah wow. it makes total sense. Yeah, for me, uh, that part in my life is the most important. I said that again and again, without music, without this painting on silence, I'm not able to paint on canvas. Yeah, that's marvelous. I, I admire painters greatly. I cannot... I cannot draw, paint, 
to save my soul. That's just like this is my this is my this instrument. Is Silence is my of canvas, course. and mm -hmm. and I leave the rest to others. I, I do it. I do enjoy it. Love it. But. It's 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 obvious. I can say that it's <laughs> obvious that you enjoy it, and yeah. the, the creation you you come up to. It's really amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well. So um, we we have many choices. We can listen another song from your list. You can listen another song from you live, mm -hmm. and it, we also you see we have people around us. Uh, look at that. Do you know this lady, Yvonne? Oh, yeah. Hi, Yvonne. Thanks for Hi, listening Yvonne. in. <laughs> yeah, we have Yvonne, many people come. Yvonne is one of one of my number one fans, and uh, she's hosted some house concerts with me. Mm -hmm. I don't make mention of that here. I'm, I'm going to put in a plug for myself and for you, for. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy doing is house concerts. So that's essentially where uh, somebody invites their family, their friends, their coworkers, their neighbors to come in to their living room, and I come into their living room and I do a whole sit-down concert for oh, them. Oh, it's very warm. Yeah. yeah, and Yvonne hosted a house concert for oh, me wow. uh, last year. And we had a marvelous time. We do that in my country a lot. In Greece, we yeah. gather together and they sing. Even though that difficult period we passed through with the crisis and all this stuff, I think this is the therapeutic part of people, the art to gather together and, and, and have fun and forget about the problems and focus mm -hmm. on, on the divine part of the people, which is the art. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, if anybody anybody here who's enjoying this music and wants to hear more of it, I, I will come and play in your living room for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a big living room, but we found the solution. I have a I have a yard with a pool. Perfect. <laughs> I just just set me up with a little stage in the pool and we'll have a little floating concert. It doesn't belong I, to me, but it belongs to the neighborhood it, then. It, it, and, works. Uh, it works. Of course, so, it works. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play another song for you then. This one was since we were talking about painting. This song, actually, somebody asked me to write a song for them. Mm -hmm. I, I have a wonderful friend who you might know named Pom Olsen Hepner. I Pom think Hepner. so. Yeah. And, and she is a marvelous uh, painter. Yeah. And uh, watercolors, mostly. This is living in Pasadena? Yes. Yeah, of course I know Pam. Yeah. yeah. And at any rate, uh, many years ago, uh, Pam decided she wanted to start singing, and she wanted, to, like, a theme song for herself. Wow. And, and so we, <laughs> we made a deal. I wrote her a song, and she gave me a piece of her artwork. Of course, makes and, sense. And I get the better deal. I get the better deal because not only do I get the artwork, but I still keep, get to keep the song. <laughs> I'm painting each morning in colors green and blue. Where'd it go from there? I used to know this song. <laughs> oh, that's weird. All right, let me try this. One. I'm painting each morning. In colors green and blue, each treetop, each clover, each tiny drop of dew, all for you, all for you, all for you. I'm painting each evening. In colors gold and red, the last rays of sunset, the star shines overhead. All for you, all for you, all for you. A child at play, a weary traveler on his way. No reason, no rhyme, a moment captured out of time. I'm painting a new day where all your dreams come true. Tomorrow is calling. It's waiting there for you, all for you, all for you, all for you. You got it. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> this is amazing. 
amazing, awesome, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. One after the other. You have a question from uh, Laura. She said that uh, try to find the rainbow song on Apple Music. Exact name of the song. It's it won't be there. It won't be there. It won't be there, Laura. I will send it to you. Uh, no, <laughs> rainbow. Rainbow's not up. Rainbow's not up yet. That old that old hound dog is up, and um, uh, an, another song uh, called "Gone, Gone, Gone" is is up off of the new album. Um, and uh, I'll probably be releasing some more soon, um, and just have to see which one's going to go up next. Wow. So, tell me a little bit about you how you feel as a as a steven gary mm -hmm. as a being as a spirit when <laughs> when you're pretty write. darn good right now <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm so happy i can't see the goal <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, let me finish your question. I, want to uh, yeah, I mean, you answered to me already. <laughs> it was so boom, boom, without any, you know, Q&A, it was like boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost frightening, really, um, because uh, I'm, I'm just in a very good, good position right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm enjoying what I'm doing and, uh, and you know, the people that I have around me and the, and the, and the projects that I have going. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I tend to get a little bit lazy these days. It's like, you know, it's like, okay, things are just fine. What do I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an amazing state. I mean, enjoy it. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you, you gather power and energy and you go for the next step and you know that. And, of course, you work before for that. Yeah. That's why you're yeah. receiving it. And uh, I'm so happy that well, you, thank you. you have it. Thank you. Yeah. So, I, I you know, I, I, get to, I get to play music for a living. And so that's... Um, People get a little bit envious of that. It's it's very funny. Um, I, I realized many years ago that that one of the biggest falsehoods in the arts is that you can't make a living doing it. Mm. And people will tell you this all the mm. time. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't make a living at just fill in your art form, and everybody's heard it. Wow. And it's just not true, especially today. You've got to be real clever, mm -hmm. but you have you know with the internet you have the whole world open to you. Very true. You know, and Very you can true. find you can find your audience for whatever art you have. There is an audience for it, and now it's available to you. And it's just a matter of being clever about finding them. <laughs> I think you give me also a lesson because the part of me as an artist, uh, since I came here, I think I'm afraid a little bit. Like uh, I feel like I don't have connections, and I don't have people that. Uh, and I know that my art is really good art. It's not like ah. Uh, oh, okay i paint like a hobby or something no i'm an artist yeah and and and, and i love to do that to give my uh, inside world to bring it out need courage to do that so i have to really appreciate and, and respect it as a part of myself and thank you that you give me that message we yeah need, we need to listen sometimes sometimes you know? we need to listen to each other you know because that's a lesson really that i learned from palm from palm yeah okay and uh you know and I and I constantly see it. There's, there's just tremendous numbers of artists in the world. It's my belief that everybody is an artist. Mm -hmm. I, I think that everybody has mm -hmm. an innate creative impulse. I believe everybody that too. has an innate creative impulse, and how mm -hmm. that manifests itself is their art. True. Whatever that art might be, whether it be music or dance or painting, you know. Or, or creating a flourishing business. That's an art form as well. Exactly. <laughs> Look at the kids. They don't have any, uh, you know, uh, second thought. They just express themselves yeah. in any area. And here we are. We have an artist in front of us. Every time. Every mm -hmm. child. Yeah. Now, when did you know you were an artist? Let me, let me interview you for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was not time. It was like always. And, and the funny thing is that I thought that everybody... Uh, could paint as me and everybody could do exactly the same as me and I realized that um, Something going on with me when I was grow up in the, in the in the grammar school and We had that amazing lessons it was about uh, the physical the nature and The animals and stuff like that and we have to paint half of the page was 
uh, space to paint the animal and half of the page of the notebook to describe the animal or the tree or whatever. And I found myself <laughs> every morning when we have that lesson waiting for me, 15 students, my to, to paint for them 15 trees, 15 donkeys, 15... <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> or I used to do the map of the world we uh -huh. have a we have a specific uh, how can I say it was like a table but uh, mm. with a uh, high edges and it was sand inside with the sand you you create the map you name it let's say we had about Mongolia so I create the shape of Mongolia and I was doing uh, I, I was you know, the, the shape of the mountains and the rivers and the lakes. And what do you learn? I, I, I love, I fall in love with the planet because of that, with the reeds and we draw process, you know, situation. Right. Nice. Uh, and, and I was the one who, at the end of the story, uh, how you say, I, I gain things. Mm -hmm. It was all on me, but <laughs> I gain things at the end of the story and I love That's it. That's great. And then I realized that something going on. Why the rest of the students doesn't do that? I said, oh, probably something. Something different. Uh, yeah. 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 I knew when I was three. Yeah. I was. Uh, usually is there. It's there. You're, usually is that age. Yeah. When I was when I was like two and a half, three years old, I was typical, a terrible two, and I never stood still. Ever. <laughs> and, and, and and Lord knows my, my mother had to just like follow me around to make sure I didn't get anything I shouldn't get into, especially once I'd started learning how to climb. And, <laughs> and, and, and I, I just exhausted her every day except for this one half hour in the afternoon. And at the time there was local pro, local television programming, not like it's all from the networks now, but this was local programming in San Jose. And it was 15 minutes of a classical violinist and 15 minutes of a local folk singer. Wow. It would just, you know, sit there with her guitar and play, just like <laughs> I'm doing for you now. And and for that half hour, I was completely stock still and totally transfixed. Wow. And and that was really my start. And then when I was six years old, my grandfather got me a guitar. <laughs> and I don't know what inspired I, I him. Not that size. Not no, it size. was a it was, was a half small. size as half yeah. size guitar uh -huh. from Spain. Because he was doing import and export Spain. at the time. Yeah. And um I, I started taking lessons and I played for a year and then I quit um, because the teacher was trying to teach me something and I didn't understand what it was <laughs> or why. I just wanted to play. I don't care about this stuff. Of and then course. and then when I was 13, um, I saw some friends of mine playing together uh, in, in in at school and I went and I went, oh yeah, that's right. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. And so I started playing again and I rented my when my sister turned six, she's five years younger than me. When my sister turned six, my grandfather got her a guitar. Oh, wow. I don't know what the deal was. I never learned. <laughs> but I, I actually rented her guitar for, for a nickel a week <laughs> until my parents figured out I was serious. And then we went to the guitar store and I tried out every guitar in the store and I picked this one. This one. This one. I've had, oh, this, one. That I've had this one for a then. long, long time. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah. That's why you have name and everything. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, it's your well, you have to name your guitars. That's that's an important. <laughs> I, that's I, important. I believe so. I have to name my easel. <laughs> that would be cool. I've never heard of anybody that's named an easel. I think that's an awesome hmm. idea. I have homework. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. So you're going to play something with uh, this amazing guitar or you're going to play from your list? I mean, it's your choice, whatever you want. Let me see here. I'm going to... Uh, what do I want to play off of this? Okay. Um, Let's go to this one. Gone, gone, gone. This is this is a real kind of an exciting thing for me. Um, this last year, as like I say, things have been happening that I've been trying to get going for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, there's another song on here that I might or not might not play, depending on whether you want to stay politically correct. Um, that that got me actually on international radio uh -huh. for the first time ever. And this song here was picked up by a record label in Southern Florida, and it's coming out. Uh, in the spring, so it's the first song of mine that's actually been picked up by somebody else to record. Okay. And um, well, I should say a second, another buddy of mine recorded one of my songs <laughs> recently also, but this one just picked up by a stranger and said, yes, you know, this is good enough. 
you know, and so we'll go ahead and, and, and play. About the gone, gone, gone. <clears throat> we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Gone, gone, gone. Okay. I, I, I wrote this to. Uh, uh, yeah, it's about it's about a friend of mine, and I was just kind of imploring her to make the right choice. <laughs> Great. So let's go. All right. once shame on you but I forgave you cause that's what I do cheat twice shame on me and I ain't gonna stick around for number three and I'm gone 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 I'm going through my door I'm not the fool anymore now once I loved you and I was fool enough to think you loved me too I'll think twice before I love again no one will ever do me like you did me then And I'm gone, gone, gone I'm going on my own And I don't need you walking through my door I'm not your fool anymore They say fools rush in But wise men never go I've learned my lesson Something you should know is that I'm gone, gone, gone. I'm going on my own, and I don't need you walking through my door. I'm not your fool anymore. On your game I'm not playing anymore cuz I'm not the same your type don't ever learn you ain't my match and I ain't getting burned and I'm gone 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 I'm not your fool anymore. <laughs> this is thank fantastic. You. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh wow. So I know with songs with with songs. I'm gonna say I'm gonna dance now. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I, it's full of rhythm. I love yeah. it. It's full of rhythm. So there is a story behind that song. It's what you say before, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, I, I was working with a lady, um, and um, her husband cheated on her again. <laughs> again. Again. But again, it's and, hard. And, 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 I'm, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, like, don't don't tell me you're going to stay with this guy. Please don't. Mm. Oh yes, I'm going to. No, please don't. Oh, wow. And so I just I, I wrote it from the viewpoint of of, of like somebody who. As far as I'm concerned, made the right decision and like mm -hmm. just got the hell out of there. <laughs> I I completely understand. <laughs> I was talking yesterday about uh, most of the songs because yesterday I have a singer also in my show from Greece, an amazing uh, artist as you are, and uh, with his guitar also, and I met him like that out of the blue, you know, and. Uh, I realized something that we all know that most of the songs is about love, but part of that it's also the betray, which mm -hmm. is you're talking about, <laughs> and the faith also. 
to stay loyal, how you say, I don't know if it is the correct loyal. word. Yeah? Loyal? Loyal. loyal. Yes. Yeah, I think one of these uh, characteristic to, to the person, one side or the other, so everything about the person, but most of the times, so like the lady, if she was in love with the guy, she's not able to see that she could destroy her life, and I understand yeah. that. And thank God that amazing song came out. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's uh, you know that that's always the uh, consolation of any writer is that no matter what happens, you can get a song out of it, so it's okay. Yes, <laughs> excellent. So we are broadcasting from LA Greek Hebrew Radio. It's a station in LA. Uh, we are about uh, two years old as a station, and we have voice to the Greek programs, to the Hebrew programs, to the English program programs, as today, even though you have roots from uh, Israel, mm -hmm. you said? Yeah, okay. And I have roots from Greece, so we combine everything here. And the show called From LA with Love, it's episode 12. And I have the honor and the happiness to have Steve Gary with me. And he play with his guitar live and we listen to his songs too. And my name is Angel Kurkulu and I'm an artist. So it's so much pleasure to be in that specific spot right now and listening to your songs. <laughs> They're diamonds, I love them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So, what is next? You're going to say something about you, like another part of uh, Stephen Gary, or uh, you're going to go to another song? Um, well, I guess I can I can tell a little bit more about me. I'll tell you. I love I, the, the, first, the first album that I did, yes. see here, we're going to put in a shameless plug, for yep. the first album, which is called Eclectic Acoustic. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I did this because I've got a lot of different musical influences, and it's tough when people used to ask me, you know, well, what kind of songs do you write? And I'm like, I write songs. You know, what style? It's like, you know, this this one has got, it's kind of some folky things and some more rocky things and some blues and a little bit of reggae and a little bit of kind of world music. And it just kind of bounces back and forth because that's the influences that I have. I, I'm not a person that's been ever been closed to anything. I mean, like I said, my first influence was a classical violinist and a folk singer. Mm -hmm. You know, of and course. then I was listening to my parents' music, which was big band swing, you mm -hmm. know, Duke Ellington and Glenn Miller. And then um, I started playing trumpet in school and I got into more symphonic music and classical more. And then I started uh, performing in musical theater. So then I got into musical theater some. Oh, wow. And I really didn't get into popular music until I was in high school. Um, and so then I started listening to that, but then I started playing in jazz band. So now I'm introduced to jazz, you know, and so it just, it kept, it kept going. And then um, one of our teachers held an annual bluegrass festival. So then I got into bluegrass and country and it's like, so you get all of these influences. And then I spent all these years in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's like each influence just inspires a new song. And, and so it's just like, okay. <laughs> so when they ask, this is why you'll notice you'll notice that the album that I have here is more in a country vein. I did that on purpose. Um, I decided that I needed people. People are have difficulty with something that isn't like very closely defined. Mm -hmm. They want to know mm -hmm. what kind of music you're doing. So mm -hmm. if you tell them a little bit of this and a little bit of that, they 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 go away. So I decided, okay, well, I'm going to do this. And this still has its variants of like more traditional country or it's a little bit bluesier, or it's a little bit folkier. And it's like that, that puts it in the vein of Americana. So that's how I define yeah. the album as Americana. Oh. Um, but I think what I'll do here, I'll play you one um, that kind of has the, uh, kind of has a reggae influence. Okay. You know, when I was working on the ship that we, we I, I like that, that too. Um, and I have to ask you after, after that something. Okay. Because it came out when you took it. Okay. Um, I want to... Originally, I think when I decided to try to identify my music, I decided what I, what I write is inspirational. I like to inspire and I like to write things that are beyond just love 
as a relationship kind of thing, but as mm -hmm. having a broader influence. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this one I for like you. It's a little bit of reggae tune, okay. <clears throat> reggae influence, but <clears throat> definitely you know my idea of something that's uh, more inspirational. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wanna be your friend? I'll be right by your side. Together we can turn the tide. We can make it to the other side. I know we can see eye to eye. A dream that will not die. Together we can make it through. It's all on me and you. I see the sadness in your face dream that's in your heart you want to help the human race but you don't know where to start I see the world has troubles too i'll tell you what we'll do help the brother one by one and we won't stop till we're done i want to be your friend i'll be right by your side together we can turn the tide we can make it to the other side. I know we can see eye to eye. Dream that will not die. Together we can make it through. It's all on me and you. Doesn't matter what it takes. What sacrifice we make. If we put a smile on one child's face, we make the world a better place. If everybody lends a hand, it will spread throughout the land. Little bit of love is all the price to make the world a paradise. I want to be your friend, be right by your side. Together we can turn the tide, we can make it to the other side. I know we can see eye to eye, dream that will not die. Together we can make it through. It's all on me and you. Oh, yeah. It's all on me and you. Oh, oh, oh. It's all on me and you. Excellent. It reminds me a little bit of Cat Stevens. I mean, like oh. like a little bit the, the okay. rhythm. <laughs> I love I love Cat Stevens. I love Cat Stevens too. He's marvelous. He's still, he's still marvelous. He's still he's marvelous. Still marvelous. Yes. Do you know that he has a Greek root? I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's one of them. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I find out uh, lately, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, I like his philosophy. I like the the way he understands um, uh, the 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 art of livingness, living, mm -hmm. living. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he was a, he was definitely an influence. Yeah, yes. definitely. I I grew up. Really, you know, probably the most profound influences for me are the, the singer-songwriters of the early 70s, like mm -hmm. Cat Stevens mm -hmm. and Simon and Garfunkel, of James course. Taylor, it's Elton John, Jimmy Buffett. That too. <laughs> that, that's my, that's kind of where I... Yes, I, yeah. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell, because it's amazing that you, you put it in your own way, but the, 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 there is uh, something there that they took me. Yeah. And, and that's totally. why I told you. And I, I, would, I would like to ask you if there is any... Um, if you compare jazz, you mentioned jazz before, and um, country music, there is something to connect to each other, those two kind of... Uh... That's probably as disparate as music gets, I think. <laughs> I, I think what it's, you I, I think, you know, <laughs> you, you know, I, I, I hate to, one of the reasons I, I didn't like try to categorize myself for a uh -huh. long time is because mm -hmm. I, I felt that it was unfair to the music itself mm -hmm. because it's like, okay, you, you take a certain song and, and you could kind of call it country, kind of call it blues, you kind of call it folk, you kind of call it bluegrass, you kind of, <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's all of those things. That so it, and it really doesn't matter if you like it you like it it doesn't matter what you call it mm -hmm. but um i think uh i think country and jazz are about as far apart as you can get <laughs> in musical style yeah i understand <laughs> I, I feel the same way with the paintings i mean uh, many many times i had to answer this question and i don't, I don't have an answer i mean mm. it's like whatever give you <laughs> Why do I have to put a name under? Mm -hmm. But for marketing purposes, it's necessary, unfortunately. I until it just becomes, well, 
it's an angel painting. That's all you need to know. Yes. <laughs> I call it, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it in, in English, but it's out of my dream. So it's like a dreamism. <laughs> surreal. Not exactly, Not because exactly. surreal can be something on, on in your fantasy, imagination, but not necessarily in your dream, but maybe you can dream it from your imagination. Yeah, could be, could be. That's as close but as I can get without seeing it. It <laughs> is real. It is real. Whatever yeah. is not real with the meaning that we agree to be like this and this and this and this, it's real. And of course, and I never like to paint something like um, photography. Right. Okay, we have the photography now. We live in this century that we have amazing photographs. So uh, painting is something different. You can combine uh, images or uh, ideas and, 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 and yeah, you, you bring out something like a um, whole meaning. Could yeah. Be. Yeah, like the song, right? Sure. song, it's a painting for me. Mm -hmm. So I like to um, say a few things now about our people. We have a lot of people and uh, oh, great. we have, uh, of course, a little bit still time, but in Greece, you know, right now it's uh, around two o'clock in the morning. Is we, that right? And we have a lot of Greek people that I appreciate, <laughs> our friends that we are here with us, even though it's so late. It's uh, really, it's really, not really that late. I mean, I mean two, for two, Greek people, it's two o'clock two, in the two morning. It's not that late, is it? Actually, no. But from the other hand, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank uh, you for being here. I appreciate it. And we have people from all over the world. We have uh, Jewish people, Tutaraba, our friends. Tutaraba. Uh, you see, and uh, we have uh, people. Uh, you can tell. I mean, sometimes we have people that. You can you can believe it from New Zealand who have the other day, because the, the radio is an internet radio, so it can broadcast all over, even Facebook, it's right? All over. So I will start with the names. Uh, we have with us Likurgos Bardas, Sotiris Melis, Andreas Alonefris. And we have a Hebrew name. Thank you, our friend. I can read it, but I really appreciate it. To Daba. Uh, uh, we have with us Yorgos uh, Pratsitis, Christos Danis, Stathis Pandioras, Kostadinos Fostinopoulos, Fostiropoulos, Yas Kostadina Mou, to Katafera Telka. We have with us Laura Summer, which is your friend, I That's think. My cousin, Stephen. I guess. Yes. Hi, Laura. And she said, Love the Rainbow Song, as we say before. We have another. Uh, Jewish name here. Thank you, our friends. Uh, we have uh, Georgia uh, Kezudi. Kezudi. Uh, Laura, uh, Laura said um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, John Stratis with us and Yvonne uh, Brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. that's said. Uh, Hand Dog. That's my favorite song of yours. And see, uh, Laura said, after trying to find the rainbow, what we say before in Apple, and you already answered that. Okay. We have Panagiotis Michalopoulos, Dimitris Viris. They're all, most of them, I know them, you know, from Facebook. Thank you so much. Sasevkaristume Olus, Krisa Thimiopoulou, Despina, Pergandi, Stamatis Burikos, Micro Navagio, Panagiotis Tsopranakis, Jenny Ruti, Omiros Nyarhu, Effie Sula Diamond, Tina Tsiantonis, Tsiantionis, uh, Stelios Polycretis, no miso to Xanai Paton Stelio, another Jewish name, thank you, friends, Totagaba again, uh, Jim Theohar, Thanasis Andruchos, Tavora uh, Shmuel, Shmuel. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah. Stratos Morphis. Uh, this is our friends from uh, from uh, radio, and we have also Laura Summer. Yeah, we say Heraclis Pilatos. I think Heraclis listened to us from uh, Canada, if I remember well. And uh, here in my live streaming, we have Stratos Mastorakis, and Nicolas Koskinas, uh, Fotinitri and Dafilu, Aria Stergiu. Jim Bates, Emanuela Hronaki. Uh, she said, Filia from Florida, uh, kisses from Florida. She said, uh, Peter Carabazos, uh, Vula Karali, Adamantio Zigomalas, 
Γιάννης Καπετάνιος, Πάτροκλος Εφεριάδης, Σάκης Καραγιάννης, Πάτροκλος says υπέροχα, that means great. Awesome. With a lot of exclamation marks. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. So we have Stratos uh, Mastorakis, Georgos Matarangas, Alex Kurkulos, he's a friend of, um, with my last name and he's from my village. Nice. Okay. Uh, Hrisa, uh, Hrisa sent flowers and he, he said hi from Athens. Hi, Hrisa. Thank you so much. Vespina. He's here too. Stamatis, he's here, he's here too. Jacob Lavoy, or something like that, the last name. Jenny Lex Lofer. Hi, Lex. Nice to have you with us. Um, Yanis uh, Schinas Costas. Guy Pelguin. Guy Pelguin. Guy. Pelguin. Hi, Guy. Hey, <laughs> merci beaucoup, Guy. Nice to have you here. Oh, you see? Yeah, we have correct the pronunciation of my last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy, <laughs> actually, it's pronounced Guy. Guy. Oh, it's it's a so, French name. Yeah, yeah. So it's French, a French Canadian. Okay, and we have Nikos Pezas from uh, New York. Nikos Pezas said, "Beautiful, excellent song," and he has, he, he said, "Yes, Cat Stevens." He agreed with <laughs> my <laughs> sentence. <laughs> and we have Nena Zisi. Uh, thank you, all of you. I got some friends. over here also. Okay, go so ahead. So some of my friends here that are watching. Steve Funderburg, thank you for listening in, Steve. Appreciate that. Suska. Tadarava, Suska. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Suska, Suska is a, uh, she, she has a, a duo in uh, San Jose called Hot Kugel. Oh. Kugel is. Is she singing? Yeah, she's, she's a singer, singing. guitarist, and a marvelous, beautiful lady. Thank you. Oh, wow. Listening, Mark Warlick. Thank you. Joe Lacoco. Wow. Hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Joe and I met up when we, when I first got back into town and I went out to listen to them play, and I don't think I've seen him since. It's been like a dozen years, dude. Wow. <laughs> but thank you for Look listening. Look at that. That's awesome. Now he listened to you That's from awesome. the radio. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much, all of you, our friends from all over the world. It's so nice to have you with us, even though it's late in Greece, even though it's uh, uh, middle of the day in San Jose or uh, California and uh, wherever you listen us from. We thank you so much. Uh, we, we have this amazing uh, artist here today, Stephen Gary, that he play his songs live, as you see, or he put from his list songs. And... Um, we have a few seconds. We can go on 10 minutes okay. still yeah, and we I'm can so okay play. Me. I want to I wanna put in one more plug for where you can find the music. Um, of course. The website is stephengarymusic.com. And then, um, like I say, under Stephen Gary, the, you can find the music on iTunes. You can find it on Amazon, Rhapsody, CD Baby, um, Spotify. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would buy the music rather, or you can... If you're going to stream it, buy it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's like streaming. Streaming, I get about one hundred thousandth of a cent every time you stream something. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, the other musicians will understand. Uh, so, at any rate, I, I thank you all for uh, listening, and I hope you enjoy the music. I will have. More of the new album coming out soon. You'll find all of the original album and collected acoustic out there. The only two songs that are released off of the new album are That Old Hound Dog and Gone, Gone, Gone. Those two you can find. The rest you're just going to have to demand. And uh, when I get enough demand, I'll release the next one. <laughs> you know how I feel about your song, Stephen? Uh, I mean, I know you since ages, but uh, as I told you, I didn't know about your songs. Mm -hmm. And since you start to sing or we, we listen from your list, what I feel is like I know your songs. It's not like it's the first time I'm listening to these words or wow. to that melody. It's like mine, and 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 I believe that touch to people too. We can see that, and and of course, if someone listen to your song, want to listen it again and again and again. For me, it's like a refreshment in my soul, and, wow. and make my my body move so <laughs> naturally. Like I don't. Put an effort, you know what I mean. I, I even dance here in the chair. I do that all the time when I listen to the music. But it's it's so natural. Like I know your songs. This is my point. Wow. It's like I always knew 
And this is fantastic to oh, achieve thank that. You so much. That, that's amazing. I, I, I always say what I feel, <laughs> always. <laughs> and it's exactly the feeling that I get after listening a song after song of yours. Thank cool. you. Well, thank you very much. Thank that's, you. That's really awesome. I, I'll put in one more plug for the house concerts. I will. I have guitar. We'll travel. I am, you know, I, I love to go to new places. I'll play in Greece for you. You just you just tell me when and where. Oh, uh, I just just let you know. I will come. I will come to Israel. I need to make my aliyah. So, <laughs> um, you will. I'm we can, sure you will. We can just we can just kind of have have those things happen. So somehow um, you belong to Mediterranean area. I mean, you you are very Mediterranean person, even this, though I met right. you in America. Wow. And, okay. Yeah. So I cool. feel. And so you you want some more music or you, you're uh, gonna, we have time? Uh, yes, we okay. are. You have. Okay. I mean, actually, it's the last show of the day. We can do whatever we want. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so feel free as much as you want. I'll play, play. till midnight. I don't care. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go. Okay. So um, let me uh, let me do this for you then. Um, this is kind of a fun. This is kind of a fun little tune. And then, and then we'll play a couple others off of the. Uh, Which one? Uh, You're gonna play live. I'm now? gonna play. I'm gonna play live now. Okay. Then we'll play a couple more off of this. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So. Well, you can hide in the desert. You can hide in the woods. You can hide in the ocean. But it won't do you no good. You can run under cover. You can go underground. There ain't no place, baby, where you cannot be found. I'll find you anywhere, no matter which way you go. Ah, you go. Some bloodhound, bloodhound, wherever you are, I'll go. You said you loved me, baby. I said me too. Oh, I just don't understand what's gotten into you. I'm gonna get you, baby. Just wait and see. Oh, I'm gonna sniff you out. Bring you home with me. Find you anywhere, no matter which way you go. Ah, you go. Cause I'm blood and blood and wherever you are, I'll know. Cry for hours, babe, I howl at the moon I'm and night, get your back real soon It's just as easy as digging up a bone I want you with me, I don't want to be alone Bloodhound is loyal, baby, got love to spare uh -huh. Don't know what you've done and I don't really care Hot on your trail now, I'm in dogged pursuit. Uh -huh. I need your loving, there ain't no substitute. I'll find you anywhere, no matter which way you go. Ah, you go. Cause I'm bloodhound, bloodhound, wherever you are, I'll know. Cause I'm bloodhound, bloodhound, wherever you I'll know. <laughs> I have private life. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love life. That's... I mean, I love life and I yes. love lives. <laughs> um, awesome. I, I used to live with a um, in Greece, in this community, I mean, all my environment was musicians, and uh, and all my life, actually, the last at least twelve years, uh, I was living in this kind of uh, influence and this kind of listenings. So it's like home completely. You play, and I feel home, and and you probably it's you that you, you brought that feeling, and your songs, of course. And thank you. Thank you so much. In Greek it's Efharisto. Efharisto. And in Hebrew, Totahaba. Right. Now, yes. So I like Greek Hebrew radio here, ladies and gentlemen. We have this amazing artist, Stephen Gary, 
and you listen these amazing songs all the time. We have at least 10 people listening uh, live, which is 10, 12, sometimes more. And uh, because it's late, it's very important. I don't know how, how important it is to make you understand. Most of the show in the middle, shows in the middle of the day, we have 20 people. To have 12 people, 6 to 12, now it's getting later, <coughs> it's really, really something. And when he play, we have the biggest number. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> not when I talk, but that's why I'm going to say you. I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to let you continue, or from your list, or from okay. Ben, do I want to do two more here off of the off of the list? And um, these ones, <clears throat> I was ordered to to write these songs. Okay. Um, this one actually I had a friend of mine who gave me the title. Mm -hmm. The title is "I Made It Through Another Monday." Okay. Which is something that a lot of people can relate to, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, you, you'll notice a definite influence of a definite artist here, I'm sure. Uh, and, and that was definitely deliberate. And uh, so she just gave me the title and said, I need you to write this song. And I went, well, oh, okay. So so here it is. So you start from the title I and, and you build the, title, the song. I build the song oh, from wow. the title. That's really amazing. Yeah. So that's, uh, I made it through another Monday. Okay. Which is... Right above that, uh, right above, above gone, gone, gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I said. <laughs> Went to the islands for a weekend trip, lived on crab and rum, danced all night on a fire lit beach, then Monday morning come. I haven't slept in 30 hours or more. I got an aching head, but at night I'm a dot, I'm punching the clock, though I'd be better off dead. I made it through another Monday, I put myself through hell. I made it through another Monday, I learned my lesson well. If I can make it through a Monday, and find my way back home I'll never do that again What I go through is a sin I made it through another Monday My boss looked into my bloodshot eyes Sure glad you made it back You should be taking better care of yourself Cause I can't cut you no slack I've got a backlog that just can't wait Don't try to go home sick You ain't going nowhere till it's all taken care You better get on the stick I made it through another Monday I put myself through hell I made it through another Monday I learned my lesson well If I can make it through Monday and find my way back home I'll never do that again What I go through is a sin I made it through another Monday Three cups of coffee and a Red Bull or two Still trying to focus my eyes if I manage to survive this day, it'll be a surprise. My friends say, let's do that again. They must be out of their minds. If I can make it till five and I get home alive, I'm leaving all that behind. I made it through another Monday. I put myself through hell. I made it through another Monday. I learned my lesson well If I can make it through Monday And find my way back home I'll never do that again What I go through is a sin I made it through another Monday But when Friday comes along I know that I'll forget this song I made it through another Monday. Woo! <laughs> I love 
I love, you know, when uh, there is something like a um, serious subject and you, the, the artist confronted with the, you know, spice of, uh, of uh, sarcasm mm -hmm. uh, or uh, <laughs> cynicism or uh, humor. I don't know how you say it. I really love it. It's really, um, um, how do you say? It's not like a regular thing. It's something more. Mm -hmm. Put spice on it, yeah. and I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of fun to do. <laughs> and I, I mean, the fact that you got the title and you have to make a song itself, it's yeah. uh, it's silence the way I feel it. Maybe for you it's easy, but for me it's like, what? It's, it's you know, people ask, you know, in, inevitably, um, you know, people ask, well, what? how do you write? Yes. <clears throat> and um, it really... I, I, I've done all sorts of different ways. In this case, I was given a title. A lot of times I'll just sit down with just a ream of paper and just write stuff until something looks good and mm -hmm. I'll carry on mm -hmm. with it. Sometimes it'll be a rhythm. Sometimes it'll be a melodic hook. It just like whatever happens to work. Mm -hmm. Like I said, on that one song, the whole thing just showed up, you know, and it's like there, there is no it, process. Where does that come from? You know, yes. just, it was yes. just there. Um, the last one I want to play for you here is is another one where I was same person. I we were talking back and forth, and I said something, and she said that'd make a good song title. And I said, I suppose. She said, You're going to write it, aren't you? I said, I suppose. She said, You're going to write it, aren't you? And and I it's went, Northern. Yes, ma'am. And and it, it came out pretty well. Okay. okay. Which one? Things change. Uh, right at the bottom. Oh, okay. That's the title before, of the album. Before before we go to the song, yeah, I like to see because we have some people still here with us and I don't want to let them uh, out. We have uh, Eleftherios with Evenos. Yes, Eleftheri, he's my friend, uh, most of them. Uh, we have Lucky Nathan, he's from Africa. Listen to awesome. us. Wow. Uh, El Piniki Kurkulu, she has my last name too, okay. so it's a family matter. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, Nicola Gigov. Hi, Nicola. And we have also Dimitris Theocharopoulos, um i think uh i'm not sure if i cover everything everybody and stratos morphis i guess yeah we got that, we got that huh? mm -hmm. okay uh yeah that's it this is what i see usually as i say always when we finish sometimes some comments appears or appear or some names uh it's not in on purpose that i left them behind it's <laughs> like i can't see them right now for some reason so just that's that's why I want to thank you all of you from here from LA Greek Hebrew Radio, from me and my guest. I want to thank you so much that you are with us through that show, even though it's late in Greece, as I say before. And I feel your energy; it comes to us, and 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 I'm so happy that uh, you enjoy this show from LA Greek Hebrew Radio, which his name is from LA with love. And we have with us Stephen Gatti. Thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, we're going to put the last song, and uh, we're going to say we're going to say good night to Greece. I'm going to say goodbye to LA. I'm going to say goodbye to all over the world for now. And the rest of uh, program is going to be as uh, regular tomorrow and on Friday, uh, 12 o'clock in the in the middle of the day on. Uh, um, in LA and 10 o'clock at night in Greece. I'm going to have another amazing drummer, artist. His name is Stefanos Logothetis. He's very well known even abroad, even further than Greece and uh, people love him and I will be it would be a pleasure to have him in my show on Friday. So my name is Angel Kurkulu and I'm an artist and we broadcast from LA Greek Hebrew Radio um the owner and the person who supports this radio name is uh, Saul Ivki. He loves Greek music and, uh, of course, Hebrew music. That's why we, we are in that moment, in that station, and we have that space specific position on space and broadcast this all. Thank you so much, Saul. To Daraba. So, we continue with the song of uh, Gary Steven. Stephen Gary. Stephen Gary. I'll last, take it either way. The last name? Gary. The last name? Schlossel. Schlossel. It's getting better. Get Schlossel. <laughs> Stephen Gary Schlosser, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Great Bye. to be here. 
So right, we listen fine. to the thing change. Right. Okay. My brother bought himself a little shop Nothing fancy, just a mom and pop Never thought that he'd amount to much Turned out he had the Midas touch Now he's riding in the back of a chauffeur Cadillac And if you ask him for his secret He'll only say, well, things change Lord knows things change Right when you think things will always be the same when well, things change My baby told me she'd love me forever Through good times and bad we would always be together But life is what happens while you're making other plans Tonight I found her she was with another man now she's packing up and gone, leaving me so all alone. And when I asked her why, she would only say, well, things change. But no, things change. Right when you think things will always be the same, well, things change. You can beg, you can borrow, you can steal, you can pray But nothing's gonna be like it was just yesterday You can try to make it better, try to keep from getting worse But you're never gonna know if it's a blessing or a curse Things change, Lord knows things change Right when you think things will always be the same, well, things change. You can lose your shirt at poker, you can win the lottery, you can find the door to happiness, then you can lose the key, and when the landlord kicks you out the door and you're out on the street, keep your eyes wide open, cause who knows who you might meet, so just ride it like a wave, you may be damned, you may be saved, but the only thing's for certain is you're never certain when. Things change, Lord knows things change. Right when you think things will always be the same, well, things change. Things change. Things change. Things change. Things change. Things change. You know what I'm talking about, don't you?